Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be talking about the basics of food analysis. Food analysis is the discipline dealing with the development, application and the study of analytical procedures to characterize the properties of foods and their constituents. It allows rational understanding of the factors that determine the properties of foods, economic production of foods that are consistently safe, nutritious and desirable, consumers to make an informed choice about their diet. Food analysis plays an important role in maintaining the general quality of the food supply by enforcing certain rules and regulations. These are government regulations and recommendations, nutritional labeling, authenticity, food inspection and grading, food safety, quality control and research and development. One of the most important reasons for analyzing food is to check if it is safe for consumption. The analytical techniques used for the same is broadly classified into two, qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis. Under qualitative analysis, the various constituents of a substance and the manner in which they are combined with one another is identified. Under quantitative analysis, methods of determining the relative proportions of the constituents are identified. Quantitative analysis can further be classified into gravimetric analysis, a technique where the mass of the product is used to determine the quality of the original substance and volumetric analysis, a technique where the volume of the reagent needed to react with the substance being analyzed is measured. In the process of analyzing foods, four properties are taken into account. The composition of the food, the structural organization of the components within the food, the physiochemical properties such as the stability, flavor, optical properties and rheological properties of the food and the sensory attributes. Each of these properties are examined through various quantitative and qualitative analytical methods. The analytical technique is selected based on the property that is to be measured, the type of food to be analyzed and the reason for carrying out the analysis. To obtain accurate and precise results, proper collection of samples is essential. The sample used for analysis is obtained from a larger group called the population and the process of obtaining a sample is referred to as sampling. Before the collection of the sample from a population, a sampling plan must be clearly stated. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry defines a sampling plan as a predetermined procedure for the selection, withdrawal, preservation, transportation and preparation of the portions to be removed from a lot as samples. A sampling plan should be selected on the basis of the sampling objective, the study population, the statistical unit, the sample selection criteria and the analysis procedure. Once the sample has been collected, it is made homogeneous and a small portion of it is selected for the analysis. This sample is known as the laboratory sample. The laboratory samples are required to be carefully labeled to aid in efficient tracking of the sample origin if any problems arise during testing. The laboratory sample is analyzed using selected analytical methods. The data is interpreted and the results are calculated. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay informed, stay healthy.